Welcome to the Scoop School podcast, where we tackle your conundrums about the retail ice cream and frozen dessert business. And now, here's your host, he's all about the butter pecan, the ice cream bloke and self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School, Steve Christensen. G'day ice cream lovers, thanks for joining us this episode of the podcast, Steve Christensen's my name. We're going to talk about these odd looking brushes in this episode but before we do so i do want to thank our episode sponsor a new sponsor which is the wadden systems 24 flavor system for flavoring ice cream and frozen custard now ice cream and frozen custards have always had a bit of a hard time in the flavor development because you've got such a small valve that doesn't really allow anything more than an extract to actually flavor the product so you've been limited on what you can actually flavor uh, so far as soft serve and custard is concerned. Well, the 24 flavor system is an ingenious system whereby after you extract the product, you can flavor it any more than, well, there's hundreds, even thousands and thousands of flavor options that you blend into your finished product and then extract out into your cup or your cone. If you want more information about it, you can either Google Wadden Systems, W-A-D-D-E-N, or go to 24flavors.com. I've got a big range of flavors and products and videos there that you can have a look how it works. And again, we thank you for your episode of the podcast, sponsorship that is. Now, these are called barrel brushes. Uh, please don't even kid around and call them toilet brushes because in one store, and I'm not even going to tell you which country it was in, they used to joke about this being in the toilet brush and when they used it to clean the machine one time, one of the employees said, uh, I cleaned the toilet with that one, so you can't even joke around. These are barrel brushes, and their primary design is to actually clean the barrel of the machine. So at the end of the day, primarily with uh, custom machines and soft serve machines, but at the end of the day, this round cylindrical brush head onto either a longer brush handle like this, uh, or a shorter brush handle is used for basically cleaning out the barrel. Now, a good way to do it is to actually put the barrel brush in first by itself and turn it around, rotate it, make sure that it's dislodging any of the butter fat that might be left, any of the chunks, flavors, and so forth in the barrel. Second time up, I generally put it up with a damp cloth on it. Uh, again, rotate, bring it back out, and then with a dry cloth on it. So this barrel brush goes into the barrel two or three times at the end of the day, and you pull all of those parts out for wash, rinse, sanitize, they're sitting air drying overnight, as does your machine. Now, I wanna tell you one thing about this particular barrel brush here, is that it is the most awesome piece of equipment for washing anything in the sink. So I use this barrel brush to wash Cambro containers, one-sixth pans, um, squeeze bottles, any part of the machine, the hopper lids, basically anything that goes through our three compartment sink, I use this to, to wash or to basically scrub down works a lot more efficiently than just the single head scrubber that you'll get at the grocery store or your Walmart or your restaurant depot or whatever. I would recommend getting a whole bunch of these. In fact, we've got in our facility here, I've got a, uh, uh, a milk crate or a mix crate, don't tell our mix supplier that we've got, but we've basically got a milk crate with about 13 of these jammed in because they're so good for cleaning things. So just a quick tip, you can use them to clean your machine. You should use them to clean your machine. Don't ever kid around and say it's a toilet brush because it's not. You don't want one of your employees thinking that it is and cleaning their toilet once with it. But it will clean basically anything that you have for your three compartment sink, wash, rinse, sanitize. That's a tip from me, the ice cream bloke. Again, thank you 24 Flavors for their sponsorship. If you have any tips, tricks, or look, any little things that help you run and be successful in your ice cream business, email them to us so we can share them with our online community here at scoopschool.com. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you in the next video.